430, Mexico's newly elected president is a woman, the very first in the country's history, beating America to the punch. Cardio 13's Andrea Herrera talked with female Hispanic leaders in our community about this historic election. She's here to share some of their thoughts with us. Andrea. Both female leaders I talk with tell me they are beyond excited, adding that they always thought the United States would be the first to have a female as president. And for Mexico to do it first is really remarkable. To me, it's inspiring to see that there is a possibility, you know, that in Mexico there can be women in politics because it's it's not seen very much. Moni Hernandez is the organizer and founder of Las Fiestas Patrias here in Colorado Springs, an event that is meant to highlight and inform people about Hispanic culture. Since getting into this role, Hernandez says she's made it her goal to empower Latinos, especially women, which is why she believes this change will help empower women all across Mexico and the United States states. So uh, hopefully, you know, this will be come with uh, a lot of other young Latinas that want to also be leaders and helping make those important decisions, whether that be with the city, a county, a state or the country. Hernandez also hopes Mexico's crime rate towards women will decrease with the arrival of the new president. According to the United Nations, about 10 women a day are murdered in Mexico. That's based off of government data. Domestic violence in Mexico is really not a thing. You know, if, if a domestic violence situation really happens in Mexico and the police are called out, there's really not much that is done. Um, so, yeah, I think having a woman president May, may, may make those changes for the Mexicanas in Mexico. Danira Pizarro with Colorado Springs Radio Recuerdos de Mi Tierra says she's also waiting for Mexico's stigma towards women to change. El, el estigma de, uh, de antes the stigma from before or the current stigma of a lot of Mexican men is that if you were born a woman, then you must stay at home, take care of the kids, cook, clean, and not have an opinion. So I think this is more like a, oh, wow, so I can do it because if she did it, why can't I? If she can be president, why can't I? Both women say although this is a step in the right direction, they believe more has to be done in order to keep women and children safe in Mexico. Reporting live in the newsroom, Andrea Herrera, KRDO 13.